Hey guys, it is Monday morning and welcome to block three of medical school. It is a new beginning and it is actually sort of an ending because first semester of medical school here at McGovern is divided into three blocks and this is the last one of the semester. And in this block you're gonna see lots of GI, farm, immuno and microbiology and a lot of the material is not going to be retaught again once we start moving forward into modules so i to make sure i build a nice foundation and i do love new beginnings which is why i will always argue that monday is better than tuesdays and wednesdays because it's a fresh start i know i'm probably not in the popular opinion for that one but i love new starts and so without further ado let's get started Alright, so if you guys are queasy to the sight of, I guess, internal organs, especially in your abdomen area, or you just don't want to see it, I'd advise you skip the next few seconds. I just wanted to show you guys this. So this is basically a list of structures that we have to know. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it, but here's like an overview of just one lab. So I took the structure list of uh, the structures we need to know and basically we went to netters and highlighted and kind of labeled what we need to focus on. And this is the result. Abdomen, we started off focusing on the bony landmarks and then we kind of start going down, moving the skin and the superficial fascia, talking about the muscles, so the external obliques and things like that. And we eventually get down to um, talking about more of the viscera and the abdomen. And this is what I will probably be doing for each lab. So this is just one lab, but I'll probably be doing that or something similar to that um, for each lab because it's quick and it's all in one area. But so far, that's how anatomy is gonna start looking this block. Now I'm gonna be doing some histology of the GI tract. All right, it is 3.36. In this past like few weeks, I've been able to kind of push past my usual 3 p.m. hump and wait for coffee until like four or maybe even sometimes five, but I'm literally sitting at this desk with my eyes involuntarily closing. So that is a cue that I need uh, another cup of coffee. Hopefully that doesn't wear out again before I'm done studying later tonight, um, but it must be done. <laughs> Did you not? At some point, I'm pretty sure I was taking notes with my eyes closed. It was getting um, pretty bad, so much needed. So I saw a lot of people trying this caramel macchiato creamer from Starbucks, so I decided to give it a try. I don't think it's almond milk based like my other creamer, but it's pretty good. I think as far as comparing it to my normal creamer, it's probably not too different, but you can definitely taste some hints of caramel and it is a little more, I guess, of a buttery kind of vanilla flavor with it. So if you like caramel macchiatos from Starbucks, you might want to give this one a try. So I finished my Anki card for the day and I look at the time and I see that it's only 7 p.m. This time change has me so out of whack. It's dark so early now. I look up at the dark sky expecting it to be around 9 p.m., maybe wrapping up soon. Um, but it's not yet and um, because this is the first day of block three, I think I finished things a little earlier and I could possibly get ahead with the extra time I did not expect to have or I could relax. Um, all right, it is Tuesday morning around 8.30 a.m. I actually woke up on time, but I've kind of been just moseying around, dragging my feet because election day has me a little bit 
uneasy. So I'm gonna try to buckle down and get some Anki cards done from today's dues, which was yesterday's work. And then today we have two foundations lecture and one doctoring lecture, and I do have anatomy lab, um, but since I prepared for anatomy pretty extensively before, anatomy won't take me too much extra work today. So today is mostly gonna be, again, GI and histology. Today we have a second GI lecture and today we have histology of things like the gallbladder and I think the liver. Today is also a lighter day. Thank you God and um, hopefully I can still do something to get a little bit ahead today and make sure I don't have to worry that much later down the line. But to start off I'm gonna grab me some cereal and some coffee. It's about 3 p.m. and uh, who can't focus? Me. I, I cannot, for the life of me, really be super productive today. I have gotten like a normal amount of work done, but for how light this week is, I should be more ahead and <clears throat> I'm not. A quick trip to the grocery store. Right now I'm transferring the Anatomy Abdomen 2 lab document I made yesterday night to my Notability app. For a breakfast snack, I am grabbing a quick coffee, a banana, and a blueberry muffin. And now I'm going to get started with some basic medical pharmacology. All right, I just finished um, two pharmacology lectures, there's about 78-ish slides. It was the basics of pharmacology. And tomorrow we'll start getting into the nitty gritty of pharmacology, a lot of the specific types of drugs, and that's where Sketchy Farm is gonna come into play. So we're gonna get a little deeper and a little bit more thorough with block three, and we're gonna do lots of farm, and farm is really important this block actually, because we don't learn a lot of the specific drugs again um, later on in modules uh, next semester and forward, unless they are antimicrobials. So I wanna make sure I get a nice foundation, and you'll hear me say that again for things like immunology and microbiome, because a lot of the specifics of those topics are also not retaught. But for right now, I'm gonna do the Anki cards for the lectures I did today. And then we actually have a flip lecture tomorrow. So I'm gonna make sure I review that lecture beforehand tonight. So today's full of lots of pharmacology and its basic principles, and we're just getting started. Here is an example of a pharmacology case study presented to us in lecture. Now that lecture is over, I'm creating a plan for the goals that I want to get done later today. 
today I decided to get my list of goals done at a coffee shop. Last night I didn't finish studying for TBL. I was gonna wake up early. It's about to be eight. Mm, oh no. All right guys, just finished TBL, and if you catch a look of it on the last clips, it was over asthma and what you would do for different types of phases of asthma and different intensities of asthma and different sources of asthmatic reactions. That kind of lies in place with a lot of the drugs we're learning in farm right now because we're learning about autonomics, which includes a lot of the muscarinic or the cholinergic receptors. And a lot of the asthma medications are actually antagonists or agonists of these receptors. So it kind of fit there. But then there's also uh, obviously a lot of other drugs that don't fit within those regions. And we had to add those in. And we kind of talked about the different protocols you would go through. And there's some genus set guidelines where you would basically do an assessment, make a plan, and start with step one if that doesn't work adjust step two into step three and so on and it's just kind of varying intensities of drugs you need to apply the different types of reactions to them so that's just kind of a short spill on what we did in that TBL and we had some questions and a nice application exercise where we took a fake patient case and went over it and discussed on what we needed to do for this fake patient after having um, some severe episodes of asthma and things like that So block two grades have been posted and I was just informed that um, the averages for the foundations like the science part were about normal and anatomy um, the averages were lower so I'm a little scared and I thought I'd just film a quick reaction oh my god <laughs> oh shoot that's good that's good that's good I got an A on both, which is good. I did not, I expected, I think, to get an A on anatomy, because I felt okay, or good coming out, but foundations only felt okay. And I got an A, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. It's a good way to end the week for sure. All right guys, the week has ended. Super excited about my exams and how they went. Tonight I'm actually gonna go grab some fajitas and um, some marks just to kind of celebrate that and get right back to it tomorrow, but I'm gonna take the rest off tonight to kind of just relax. But thank you guys for following me around on this very beginning of block three. We have lots more of sketchy and farm and micro and all types of things coming your way. So stay tuned and I will see all of you on the next episode of MedHead. Mm -hmm.